Welcome to Renaissance. Please step in front of the canvas and prepare for your photo to be taken. You have five seconds. I decided to work on Renaissance because I thought it would be really cool to be able to ma manipulate video to make it into some kind of art piece that someone could take home and like look at for later. So that way it's a lot cooler than just having like a Snapchat filter or something. It's actually a real work of art. The idea behind Renaissance is that the, um, the user or the audience approaches a blank canvas um, and there's a camera probably 10 feet in front of that canvas. They, upon entering the frame, of the camera, they um, will be told that a picture is going to be taken of them. Fifteen seconds later, a photo snap of them after like a countdown, and then um, a computer algorithm um, called Neural Network is going to paint them into like, a famous painting, like Starry Night or The Scream. One of our big project goals was to make it so like the, the people that are in the art can take it home with them. So this means that we want to have um, like a printer to print off the picture that they're in, and then we would also like a QR code aspect where they can scan it with their phone and just have the picture of them on their phone. And so recently that's what I've been working on with FOSS, and we're using the Google Drive API to upload to a folder that can be accessed by someone with a QR code. I'm uh, Sawyer Strong, I'm a freshman here at Colby, and I'm the lead creative on this, uh, on this project. Um, Tyler and I kind of came up with this idea in our room at the beginning at the beginning of Jam Plan, and uh, we've been rolling with this awesome group. I've been really excited to see how the Open CV has been working. Um, it's really been a great learning experience since I've never worked with that sort of stuff, and working with these neural networks has been really frustrating and really awesome at the same time. Professor Bruce Maxwell was talking about how in interactive art you have the audience, the artist, and the artifact. Um, Traditionally, the artifact is the piece, the artist is you as the creator, and then the audience are the people interacting with the artifact. One of the things that I thought about while he was talking was, um, in theory, if you made the artifact um, intelligent, if you made the artifact something that had to do with AI, then you could have the artifact become the artist, and in some way make the audience become the artifact. I'm Foss Kirker, I'm a sophomore. Um, I am the producer for the project, um, so that means that I was pretty much um, in charge of just making sure that we got all the materials that we needed. Um, so, like working with ITS, trying to get a printer, um, getting other materials like speakers and things, and then um, just sort of working where my help is needed. I'm Will Solo. Um, I'm the stage manager for Renaissance, and my main goal is to make sure that. We had all the uh, different things that we needed to set our stage up and have an interactive experience. So my main focus was getting the printer together, getting that code running, and setting up a canvas in the background. So I chose Renaissance because um, I thought it was a cool idea, um, taking sort of like what you'd expect out of art, so like kind of fine art playing off that and making it something that has to do with technology that you wouldn't exactly see every day. I've been working really closely with Margo on um, trying to get the neural networks working out, um, mostly with OpenCV and getting them all set up so that they work with our canvas. I wrote a lot of the code that took the um, canvas and extracted it like from the picture that we took on the camera and perform neural style transfer on the canvas and then place it back into the original photo. Originally we were just going to have a blank canvas um, that a person would stand next to and it would put an original work of art on that blank canvas but then we really wanted to put them into the painting and so we decided to have them stand in front of the canvas and then apply the neural style transfer to the canvas so it really looks like they're part of the painting. Photo processing complete. Please head over to the monitor to see your art.